Hi, right, this is Coach Selby here. I just want to give you an update. I just got finished working with the best coach in the whole wide world. It's Miss Lisa here. Hi. And we are talking today about the importance of understanding the foot. This is your foot without skin. Okay. All the little red stuff right there is all the muscles that come down through your tibia and fibia. But the most important thing I want to share with you about jumping is to understand that you have a walking foot and you have a standing foot. And so the walking foot is the inside two bones that come down this way. And the standing foot is on the outside. So when you jump, you need to develop not only your walking foot muscles and your standing foot muscles, but you need to coordinate them together. And so I would suggest that you go and you find yourself an anatomy book and start looking at the intrinsic muscles of the foot and how they play in helping you to jump. And the last thing I'll share with you that Lisa shared with me was it's called a spring joint. Ligament. A spring ligament, I'm sorry. Well, actually, I would love to admit, call it a spring joint so they could jump high. <laughs> but it's a spring ligament, and this ligament is designed to really help bring um, stability to the arch of the foot. So on another video, I'll go over what are some of the exercises that you can do to begin to strengthen that in your foot. So anyway, this is Coach Selby. I just wanted you to see that this is what your foot looks like without skin. And this is how you can jump higher by understanding the standing foot, the walking foot, putting them both together and increasing the intrinsic the strength of the intrinsic muscles of your feet. And there's plenty more where this came from, but that's all I'm sharing with you today. So long from the top of the mountains up here. See you.